Hey guys, welcome back. I'm blaze 2 k and we've got some exciting news regarding a new Xbox Series X, which is coming out not soon, but next year, later next year. And we're going to cover it in this video. If you want a little sneak peek, let's take a look real fast before we get into the video. There we go. That's all we're going to show you. All right, let's get into the intro and let's get into the article. So guys, thank you for popping in and joining us for this video. Now, I'm, I've am i been an Xbox fan ever since the Xbox 360. In fact, the original Xbox. My dad bought an original Xbox, the original Halo game, back when, God, the early 2000s, I'd, I'd say. Literally, when it right after it first came out, and I was obsessed with it, and obsessed with the colored buttons, the little 3D colored buttons inside. The controller was massive. I love Project Gotham Racing. Oh, so many good memories. And then I got an Xbox 360 for my Christmas one year, back when the Gears of Gear, the first Gears of War came out. We had Halo 3, COD 4. Oh, it was like the pinnacle of Xbox gaming. And um, it's kind of sad for me a little bit to see where Xbox is right now because it's not doing too great. Although they're making strides forward. And one stride they're making is they're making a new Xbox next year. Um, or they're working on it this year and it's going to be getting released next year. So, we don't have a name for it yet, but I can reveal one thing, it's discless. So, let's get into it. So, before we do get into it though, please check out our new website, a website that I actually post on, that I work on. Um, it's called pixelbuys.com and the goal of this entire website is basically just to promote tech stuff, talk about tech, share gift ideas, buying guides deals basically anything that you might like that that's either tech or gaming that you might want to buy or you're looking for stuff to buy it's all going to be on pixel buys and like i says i'm working on building this out to have top 10 lists for everything top 10 lists for xbox top 10 lists for steam deck um and basically just promote all the great things you can get for stuff right so yeah go check out pixelbuys.com put the link down below and um yeah so on to the new xbox um so here we are xbox surprises with the new redesigned discless xbox series x and to be clear i wrote this article all right this is my article go check it out if you want to see more details down below so yeah um the FTC versus Microsoft legal affairs shines light on future Xbox plans, including a newly designed Xbox, and this is it. All new Xbox reveal. Could a new discless Xbox be enough to turn Xbox around? And like like I was saying at the start of the video, you know, Xbox has had a rough time the past couple of generations with the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. It's just, it's been quite behind Sony as far as sales go, right? So, the new circular Xbox is set to feature a whopping 2TB SSD, an all-new two-tone controller and modular thumbsticks, and they're getting rid of the disk drive. Um, and I think this has been long overdue. I think we've been needing a diskless Xbox for a while. Um, I've been spoiled, quite frankly, with PC gaming, Steam Deck, ROG Ally, being able to just download games within minutes on my gigabit fiber and then launch them switch games back and forth willy-nilly you know without having to get my, get myself up go over find the disc for the game that i want to play take the old one out put the new one in and then especially when you're buying new games right having to wait for them to come in the mail and then having to wait for them to install onto the ssd it's just it makes no sense um i'm not that i'm against collecting games but the way that the that the hassle of it now it's just too much especially for home consoles maybe for switch it might be fine because you know you shove the game cart in you can play straight away but for next gen consoles like the ps5 and xbox series x obviously they have to transfer all that data onto the ssd and that takes time so yeah um i'm all for digital games i love digital libraries being able to switch between games really fast and we're going to be getting it with the new xbox um which is kind of cool. So we've been pushing three years since the original release of the Xbox Series X and the PS5, and it was only a matter of time till we saw a refresh on the horizon with rumors heating up about the PS5 Slim, PS5 Pro, and a new Nintendo Switch successor. Um, and it's only been a matter of time until we've seen or will have heard about the new Xbox, and here it is. Um, so the Xbox Series X aimed the new cylindrical Series X aims to eliminate the traditional disk drive in favor of the expanded SSD storage. I think two terabytes is great for this thing. Um, it really is. Um, also, um, it's going to have faster Wi-Fi. It's going to be more power efficient because they're moving to a smaller nanometer chip. 
for power efficiency and whatnot. I think it's going to be about 15%, 15% more power efficient on the PSU side than the existing Series X, which is good. So if you're all about saving money on electricity, this is kind of good. Um, it's obviously going to have that 2 terabyte SSD in it, which is, I think, perfect, absolutely perfect for the sort of games that are coming out in these next-gen consoles. They've obviously got the front USB-C port um, that offers power delivery for fast charging, and they're also going to have a new wireless controller we're going to cover that in a second it's going to be selling for the same 499 dollar price tag which is kind of good and also it's going to have bluetooth 5.2 and the new wi-fi 6e so you're going to get better performance better reliability and um obviously longer range less latency and obviously interference interference mitigation so you're going to get less interference with other devices that you're are connected to your network um so yeah um it's pretty exciting guys it really is so um Let's move on to the new controller. So they're calling this Sibyl. Sibyl? Sibyl is going to be the new code name for this thing. It's going to finally bring us rechargeable controller. It's going to be a finally a rechargeable controller, except it's not going to have a built-in battery. You're actually going to be able to take out and switch the battery if you want to. So it keeps that keeps that aspect of it to where you know if you, if the battery runs out you don't have to worry about plugging it in to continue playing just swap a new battery out they'll be selling ex um they'll be selling external batteries to switch out with if you want to or if you just wanted to use like your dual sense controller for the ps5 and just plug it in and play you can do that also it's pretty cool so it's going to also support bluetooth 5.2 so and support xbox wireless and direct to cloud so you're going to be able to hook this up to your tv your lgs your samsung's and whatnot and basically just jump in and play xbox anywhere games on via the xbox game pass cloud service which is really cool they're going to have um it's going to be a lot easier to obviously sync with your devices it's going to have precision haptic feedback and they're going to be using the vca haptics to double as speakers which is cool it's going to have the accelerometer too for you know a feature that's going to be really cool um like lift to wake you're going to be able to pick up the controller it's going to wake the xbox wham bam done um just make sure your dog doesn't knock the controller over or it might wake up your xbox when you're not playing it um it's going to have quieter buttons and thumbsticks modular thumbsticks which is pretty cool so it's going to be like the xbox pro controller um it's going to be using recycled materials and less resin which is kind of cool and like it says rechargeable and swappable, swappable battery which is a big deal um obviously improved longevity so it's going to be a little bit more durable and reliable i did have issues with the first gen xbox xbox one controller went through a lot of those the thumbsticks kept breaking for whatever reason um and yeah it's gonna be very similar to the existing one i wish they'd added a touchpad just to bring it on you know bring it up to future parity with the dual sense controller and i'd also like the adaptive triggers as well um i don't know if we're gonna get that i don't know if that's what they're including in the precision haptic feedback but we will see but yeah it's 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 an improvement is it quite as good as the dual sense oh, it's kind of a push to say that, but it's nice. It's a nice new upgrade anyway. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of that D-pad. I was all right with it on the... Oh, I'm, I'm okay with it on the ROG Ally, so... But if I don't mind it there, I shouldn't mind it on this. And I never really had a Pro Controller, so I don't really have experience with that kind of D-pad. But yeah, um... Another thing they've, they're bringing is a two-tone color scheme. So it's obviously going to be like one color in the top half, one color in the bottom. I could see this working into a lot of themes and stuff, custom controllers, which is going to be really cool. Um, so when are they coming out? They're coming out in, well, late next year. So they're going to have a refreshed Xbox Series S as well. Design's not going to change too much. It's obviously going to probably have Wi-Fi 6E, like it's like it's sibling <laughs> more expensive sibling and power delivery on the front and all the little improvements that comes with the original the series x but it's also going to be the same price so it's going to be about 299 for the refresh series s and 499 the same price um for the new series x so the new series x coming out in november 2024 and the new series s in september or late august 2024 so that's kind of cool um so yeah kind of excited um go check out this article for more details i kind of went in give you my opinions you know just had a good rant about it and also talked up talked it up and about how kind of excited i am about it and I also put some cool links to some great gift ideas like the xbox game pass three month code you can get off amazon as well as my favorite freaking xbox 
um, gaming headset, the Steel Series Arctis Nova 7X, multi-platform, works for your P Xbox, PC, PlayStation, even Switch and mobile. Any 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 console that has USB-C or any device that has USB-C, you can use this headset with it, and it's freaking awesome. Really love this headset. I have the old 7X that I'm wearing right now to film this video, but this one is the new and improved version of that. So go check that out. Um, so yeah, go check out the article. Thank you for watching. I'm Blaze Two K. We cover gaming on this channel every day multiple times a day in most in some cases um so yeah go check that out and obviously come follow pixelbuys.com and then follow me on x as well if you want to up to date daily updates and tweets and stuff like that talking about cool new technologies new tech new gaming stuff like this cool multiverse vr ar vr version of cyberpunk 2077 which i thought was really sick today and um, i also post videos on x as well so go check it out blaze 2k x on x go check that out and i've also got a twitter for pixel buys as well so go check that out anyways thank you for watching i really appreciate it have a great rest of your day and i'll see you hopefully in the next video peace out bye let me know what you think about that new xbox in the comments please guys thanks